Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna have some great comment on this channel, so make sure if you haven't already that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. So first, what we're gonna talk about in this video is about how to start a YouTube channel. There's loads of people that have asked me this. How do we start a YouTube channel? Um, some people are looking to do YouTube as a career. They're looking for it as a way to make a little extra money. And some people just wanna do it just to have fun. So we're gonna talk about the ins and outs of how to start a YouTube channel for those purposes and give you some tips and hints that might help you to uh, make your channel more successful. So this is my second YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel, which I will put the link in the description. Um, basically my other YouTube channel, which is my main channel, is um, where I showcase the work that I do in the construction trade. And um, I have lots of how to do videos. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, DIY projects, and just like watching building projects generally, check out the link in the description below. So you've decided you want to start a YouTube channel. So the first question is always why? Why do you want to start a YouTube channel? Some people, they like to vlog, they enjoy doing it, they like interacting with people, just sharing their journey, their life. It might be a weight loss journey, a fitness journey. You might be someone who's a travel vlogger. Uh, maybe you write blog sites and now you want to uh, keep up to time doing the vlogging and stuff like that. Whatever reason it is, some people look at it as a way to make extra money or just to have an actual career because it is possible on YouTube to have a financial career um, on the YouTube platform. So if you're looking to start a YouTube channel to make money, there's a couple of things you need to bear in mind. So firstly, it's not a get quick, rich overnight scheme, which some people may sell to you the dreams. Just forget that all about that stuff. To make it successful on YouTube, it takes a lot of work. There's a lot of grinding, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of time, a lot of energy that you have to put into it if you wanna make your channel successful. One of the first things you need to do is to decide what your niche is going to be. There's lots of niches on YouTube. There's some YouTubers who do vlogs and they just do random content about all different sorts of stuff. But from my experience, the more successful YouTubes do have a niche. So it may be that you're into cars and you like fixing cars or reviewing cars um, or driving your car on the racetracks. Um, you might like uh, be into hair, doing uh, hair styles and so on or makeup. Uh, maybe giving advice like this YouTube channel is financial advice and so on, helping people to try and better themselves. Um, whatever it is that you, you enjoy doing is really what you should put to be your niche. So find something that you are passionate about, maybe something that you're already doing, um, and maybe you can just find a way of filming it and putting it onto YouTube. There will be other videos coming which will explain a little bit more about the different niches and the benefits of certain niches over other niches. Um, but we'll look at that in another video. So how do you get paid on YouTube? So firstly, for you to be able to become a part of YouTube, YouTube partnership program, you have to meet certain criteria. And the main criteria is this. You need to have 1,000 subscribers in your to your channel. And within the last 12 months, you have to have had 4,000 watch hours um, or in minutes, that's 240,000 minutes. So what does that mean? That basically means the length of time that people have been watching your videos for. So for instance, if you have a video that's one minute long, you would need to have 240,000 views on that video to hit your threshold of 240,000 views. That must be done within 12 months. So obviously the longer your videos are or the longer people watch a particular video for, the less views you would need on that video or the more videos that you upload, the less views you would have to have per video to hit that threshold. So it is important on YouTube to be successful, that you remain consistent and that you regularly put out content. I would suggest to anybody who's starting a YouTube channel, if possible, to do at least two to three videos a week, if possible. So your subscribers, you need to gain your subscribers. So if you're already on social media, You've got friends and family that's the place, best place to start start by sharing your videos to your friends and family maybe send them a link via whatsapp emails text messages for your facebook and instagram accounts and let them know hey i've got a youtube account and i'd love you to support it check out my videos subscribe to my videos and help me to build up my channel that's the best place to start to give you that initial boost into your uh, your, your subscriber base and then you'll develop it from there as the wider community gets to view your videos and so on 
and hopefully that you will gain interest from other people and some fans. So there's various ways of getting people to see your videos. This is one of the most challenging parts about YouTube. How do I get people out there to see my stuff? So there's many ways and we will do some other videos about those things, but there's things like meta tag details, um, uh, SEO and so on, all, all these or search engine optimizations. So you will need to uh, learn and understand these things, which will help you to get ranked in the YouTube search engine. And, then, and, and hopefully the higher you rank in the search engine, the more people that will find your content and find your videos. And then obviously, ultimately, you would like them to convert into subscribers. So how do you make money on YouTube? There's a number of ways, actually. Um, ad revenue is probably the most common way that people make uh, money on YouTube. This is where you're usually paid a certain amount of money for a number of views on your video. The advertisers will advertise on your video and based upon how many times those adverts are seen by the YouTube community, you will be paid a certain amount of money. It's usually calculated per thousand. So there's um, uh, a term called CPM, which you'll come across, which stands for cost per mil or otherwise cost per 1000 views. And um, this is a fee that the advertisers are willing to pay YouTube for their video to be shown or adver advertisement to be shown 1000 times um, on your platform. So the CPMs are a various, very broad range of uh, price ranges. So you, you can have some YouTubes have a CPM as low as $1 um, up to, uh, I've seen $40. So depending on what niche you're in or depending on what advertisers are advertising on your platform, depends on how much they are willing to pay to get their videos or, or adverts onto your videos. So the higher the CPM that you have, the more money you will make per thousand views. So it's, it's um, uh, there's two main factors in earning money on YouTube. Is one, getting a certain number of views or getting more views. Also, getting a higher CPM. If you have a higher CPM, you won't need as much views to earn the same amount of money. The other way YouTubers make money on their platform is by sponsorships. So you may be approached. Um, there is a YouTube scheme as well for um, uh, members who are enrolled in the partnership program where they can connect with uh, other uh, companies. They may ask you to showcase their product or to review their product, which may be in your niche market, and they will pay you a set fee usually for you to be a sponsor of that particular product and to place it into that video. So that's the second most common way that people earn money on YouTube. Other ways are via super chats and stickies. This is where basically when you have live videos um, and you have uh, people in the uh, chatting on a live video, there are options for people to pay to be able to respond in certain ways, which are called super chats. So that is another way that people earn money uh, on their YouTube videos. And uh, lastly, one of the other more common ways is affiliate marketing, which is, which is where people actually sell a product. Maybe you have an, ad, an, an Amazon affiliate product and then you have a link in your description of your video where people can click on the link to buy that product. Maybe something that you're reviewing or that's something that you're talking about. They click and buy the product and you will get a commission from, let's say, Amazon, just for, for instance, it will pay you a commission via your affiliate account. So these are they're probably the most the four most common ways that people earn money on YouTube. So you want to start your YouTube channel. So here's my quick top tips for starting a YouTube channel. So first, have a niche. Decide what exactly it is that you want to do. Could be hairdressing. It could be a cooking channel. It could be an automobiles channel. It could be a health and fitness channel. Whatever it is, ideally something that you know you're passionate about and that you know you can create content with. Secondly, the quality of your content. The higher the quality of your content, the more likely people will watch it. So you would first, you're filming. This is something you'll learn and develop along the way. Um, try to get your, your, your editing as good as, as you can. Just keep it simple, ideally, um, and not too difficult. So something that you can manage. Um, get a decent camera if you can. Now these days, um, we have mobile phones which have better cameras than cameras that people were YouTubing with years ago. So for instance, I, I use my uh, mobile phone for all my videos at the moment. 
I have a camera, but I find it a lot easier to use my phone because I like the apps that I have on my phone. I've got editing apps on there <clears throat> that I can use to add music and overlays and so on. And I can also upload the videos directly onto YouTube without having to put in a computer to edit it and then upload it. So I use my camera and my camera is an Apple iPhone 11 Pro and it's a great camera uh, or, or phone with a great camera that you can use to edit videos for YouTube. Come up with a great title name if you can for your for your uh, channel, something that is catchy, something that people will remember um, and that they will be able to share around and spread the news to other people. Support your channel with social media pages. Maybe think about creating an Instagram or a Facebook page um, that can help you to connect people to your YouTube channel as well. That's another great way of promoting your channel. Also have a theme as well. So when you have your channel, when you get on your computer and you create your channel, you, you, it'd be great to have a logo if you can get a logo made, design a logo, a simple logo that you can have a, a header, a banner on your YouTube page as well would help. And when you're editing your videos, try to keep your videos consistent, i.e. if you use a particular font on your videos, try to keep that font the same. Maybe the color could go with your color scheme and so on. So that when someone sees your video thumbnail particularly, as soon as they see your thumbnail, they will know that it's your video. I will also do a video as well about thumbnails uh, soon and I help um, you on how to design thumbnails, catchy thumbnails, thumbnails that will, will help your uh, people to, to click on your video when they see it, which is another uh, um, yeah, important uh, factor in optimizing your channel. So also the lastly thing I'd like to mention, but I'm also gonna do a later video on this, is Google AdSense. If you are planning on creating your YouTube account, uh, or channel to an uh, ad revenue, you will need an AdSense Google account. So it's a good idea to apply for the account now and not wait until you get to the uh, YouTube uh, threshold to be enrolled into the partnership program because then you're then gonna have to wait for you to get uh, your AdSense account while you would have been able to get ads on your video right away. So if you can apply, just go to the Google AdSense website, apply for an account on there, um, and you just have the account. And when you're ready for it, you've already got your pin code, which you would use to put into YouTube when you uh, have reached that level. So there's, an, there's, there's one, one, one last very important thing I'd, I'd like to say as well. Um, please don't get, um, uh, caught up with uh, the these various techniques of trying to gain subscribers um, like uh, like for likes and subscribe for subscribe they call it sub for sub where people say uh, you subscribe to my channel I'll subscribe to yours because um, one it's a waste of time YouTube is a very smart system the algorithms can detect these type of things it can actually get your channel banned as well even when you're putting comments or on YouTube and so on so you don't want to get yourself violating the terms and conditions and also you want to build your channel with genuine subscribers people who actually want to see your content uh, because if you do sub for sub you might get a thousand subscribers but these people are not going to watch your videos and probably likely to unsubscribe you soon. So as soon as they see you start putting content out because they're not actually interested in you. So um, I would definitely say stay away from the sub for, for sub community um, because as I said, it will get your channel banned um, because when you get to the thousand threshold and 4,000 hours, YouTube does a review on your account when you apply to be a part of the the, uh, the program and they will do a review and they will check through everything and if they see these type of inconsistencies they will probably not allow you into the program um, so it's very important that you grow your channel organically and naturally and the best way to do that in my opinion is to work hard in creating great content be very consistent with your content as I said put out videos you know every two three three every you know two to three days or so on if you can um, and uh, make sure you engage your videos with, with people that you know uh, on your social media. There's no problem with sharing your videos on social media platforms on Twitter, or hashtags and so on, and try to get your name out there and get your platform and brand out there. Um, this is what I think is the best way to build it. And then try to build a loyal uh, subscriber base who will, um, you know, will support you with your YouTube channel. Lastly, I just want to say thank you for watching this video and uh, like and subscribe 
to the channel if you want to see more tips on how to grow your youtube channel i'm also going to be doing lots of other financial tips as well particularly investing and um, so if you, you're interested in that type of content make sure you subscribe um, share the video to your friends as well if you feel any of them will be interested in with this information and i hope to see you guys on the next video take care peace